हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेंटम मैकेनिक्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस पेपर सी इलेवन ऑफ डिब्रुगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी 2022 ट्वेंटी सेम बी एस सेम ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इन द थम्स अप बॉर्डर ऑल्सो शेयर विद यू फ्रेंड्स इंस्पायर मी टू क्रिएट न्यू कॉन्टेंट्स फॉर यू ओके इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो दैन प्लीज हिट द थम्स अप बॉर्डर ओके प्लीज सपोर्ट मी राइट एंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड वन मोर थिंग And this is my Insta ID. You can follow me. This on. is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta. Oza Lakhya Jit L A K H Y A J I T one twenty three. Right. So now let's start. So here is the first question. So is the correct answer. So Planck's constant has the dimensions of force, energy, action, and linear momentum. This is action. Let me tell you why. So Planck's constant. Uh, this is. Uh, its dimension is also same as uh, angular momentum as well that is l uh, l uh, here not uh, the symbol of uh, length dimension of length it is here angular momentum let me write here angular momentum also its dimensional formula uh, is same as action so now you see if you find the Uh, dimension of angular momentum angular momentum is r into p uh, that means uh, r into uh, you know linear momentum that is um, dimensional formula of r is capital l and momentum is m and uh, mass into velocity l t to the power minus 1 and that gives uh, m l is equal to t to the power minus 1 so th this is the dimension of planck's constant so if you find the dimension of action uh, action is nothing but energy into time energy is equivalent to work done which is uh, force into displacement that means uh, m l is equal to t to the power minus 2 and time is t so and that is energy into time so it gives again m l is square t to the power minus 1 right so this is the dimensional formula of planck's constant so here correct option is action so now let's move on to the next question here the momentum space wave function are the fourier transforms of this is position wave uh, position space wave function this is the answer and the energy of one dimensional harmonic oscillator in first excited state so in ground state zero excited state uh, in the n equal to zero it is half Uh, a is cut omega in first excited state it's supposed to be uh, it it should be 3 by 2 a is cut omega 3 by 2 a is cut omega because uh, we know en is equal to n plus half a is cut omega right so if you put n is equal to 1 then you're going to uh, if you put n is equal to 1 then you're going to have the first excited state okay so that is equal to this one right now value of spin angular momentum in one electron atom so let me clean this first I'll just bit so that is given by root over s into s plus 1 and uh, h cut okay so that should be you know uh, value of s is half if you put half into half plus 1 is 3 by 2 a is cut that's going to that going to give you root 3 by 2 a is cut so this option should be 2 i don't know why this omega is given okay and uh, value of let this z factor for an for s electron so here you see z factor for an s electron z factor is given by z is equal to 1 plus 1 plus z into z plus 1 z means total angular momentum plus s into s plus 1 is spin angular momentum minus l into l plus 1 right divided by 2 into z plus uh, z into z plus 1 so that's what we get now so for s electron uh, l is equal to 0 s is equal to half and z is equal to l plus s right so spin angular momentum and angular momentum 
uh, sum of these two gives uh, total angular momentum that's equal to half and if you put this value here then you're gonna get g is equal to 2 okay you can check yourself so option is 2 right so hope you have understood this so now let's solve question number two first one what are the conditions for wave function to be physically acceptable so i have already made one video on this uh, uh, topic so i have given the link uh, in the description box i have written question number two a answer then i have provided the link of that video okay where you're gonna get the answer right so now let's discuss about uh, just wait let me clean it let us discuss about uh, this question define wave packet with what velocity does a wave packet move okay so let me answer this question so 2b question number 2b answer so what is wave packet wave packet is nothing but superposition of plane waves just so in quantum mechanics what does wave packet mean wave packet is nothing but superposition of plane waves and it can be repre it can represent a particle in motion okay uh, we have already uh, i think uh, you know you aware of this that when a web uh, when, when a particle a small particle is moving in motion uh, like electrons and photon we have associated with this and uh, you know uh, the wave packet is nothing but uh, is a group of waves at any instant at uh, the superposition of wave. wave packet is nothing but what superposition of plane waves it can represent a particle in motion right so if a number of plane waves number of plane waves number of plane waves of uh, right of propagation number slightly different uh, from the average value cannot right and travel simultaneously travel simultaneously along the same line along the same line in positive x direction so in positive x direction in a medium in a medium a wave packet of a small extension a wave packet a wave packet of a small expand a small extension wave packet of small extension del x is formed is sorry just is formed which is given by or which is expressed as or let me write given by given by psi of x comma t is equal to e to the power i k naught into x minus omega naught into t 1 by root over 2 pi integration from minus infinity to plus infinity a of k which is a function of k e to the power i k minus k naught x minus d omega by dk t dk right so this is the expression for the wave packet here and the wave packet moves with the velocity and uh, uh, this wave packet this wave packet moves with the velocity d omega by dk which is called group velocity is called group velocity right so hope you have understood this this is the answer of question number 2b so now let's move on to next question so what is the next question here so 2c briefly describe the relation between the zero point energy and uncertainty principle of harmonic oscillator right so let's answer this question so now uh, 
here you see let me clean this please so now we're gonna this uh, we're gonna answer 2c question number 2c so here is the answer to question number 2c the eigenvalues of uh, total energy of a simple harmonic pendulum or uh, sorry oscillator is given by this expression this is equation number one where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on okay and the lowest energy of the oscillator can be obtained by putting n is equal to 0 and so as i am taking lowest energy so i have written here e naught which will be equal to uh, half h cut omega and this is called zero point okay zero point it doesn't mean that energy is zero okay so there is no such state where the energy is zero because if there is uh, any state where energy of the oscillator is zero then it must be at rest okay it must be at rest uh, if it is at rest there will be no any uncertainty that means it gonna violate the heisenberg's uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics uh, you cannot uh, find the accurate object and the exact value of momentum accurately right there always be some sort of uh, uncertainty okay so the according to that principle this is uh, that should be greater than equal to h cut by 2 so if the oscillator is at rest that means energy is zero then it gonna violate this rule so it cannot have any such state where energy is zero and where you get the lowest energy that is the zero point okay that is the zero point energy is not the zero and here del x is the uncertainty in position and del p represents uncertainty in momentum right so now let's move on to the next uh, uh, sorry let's uh, go to the next slide so here you see total energy of, a of an oscillator is given by this expression here this is the kinetic energy this is the potential energy and potential and kinetic energy of oscillator this is kinetic energy and this is the potential energy half k x square right uh, in case of minimum uncertainty uncertainty condition is uh, uh, so uh, uh, just uh, remember these are as conditions so when um, the uncertainty is minimum then p square is del p square and x square is equal to del x square and if you use this uh, result in 2 then you're gonna get this equation number 3 right instead of p square you're gonna get del p square and instead of x square del x square so for ground state for ground state where you're gonna get n where n is equal to 0 the minimum uncertainty product is this one so uncertainty product del x into del p that is uh, greater than equal to greater than equal to h cut by 2 means its minimum value is h cut by 2 right its minimum value is h cut by 2 right so now from this expression we can write del p is equal to h cut by 2 del x this is suppose equation number 4 now now, now let use this uh, equation number 4 in 3 and doing so we're gonna get this equation right when this uh, del p is replaced by this value okay so hope you have understood this and in order to obtain the minimum value so we need to differentiate e naught with respect to del x equating with zero here we're gonna get the minimum value now if you differentiate uh, this with respect to del x then you're gonna get this result okay you can check by yourself differentiating that okay you're gonna get this result and if you simplify this at the end you're gonna get del x square is equal to this one now let's use this value so hope i hope that you can uh, simplify this part yourself okay i don't think i need to explain this kind of simplification so now if you use this value in this equation number five here you see this is the equation number five where i have written equation number five here this one uh, let me give this one as equation number five this is equation number five okay so this was four now after four let me take this one as five now if you use the value of del x square here this value of del x square in this equation number five then you're gonna get this result and if you put the value of k which is m omega a square then it equals to, uh, it implies this and this is equal to e naught half h cut uh, uh, sorry e naught is equal to half h cut omega which is the uh, zero point energy right 
so hope you have understood this and remaining questions will be solved in the next video thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye